Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me. This is Julie Baum, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And today is Monday, April 26th, 2021. And we are only nine days away from the launch of the brand new catalog. I'm super excited. Today, I just wanted to give you a quick peek at the new in colors. Each year, we introduce five new colors to the color family. And I have these beautiful five colors to show you just for the next couple of moments. So as you can see, we've got the colors uh, in the cardstock. This one is called Evening Evergreen. Beautiful dark green, very rich. This one is called Polished Pink, which uh, is a very pretty pink. It kind of fills that pink gap of a pink that we don't currently have. And so this is gonna be very much fun to use. This is called Soft Succulent, a beautiful soft green. And this is Fresh Freesia. And it is quite different than our old um, uh, Pale Posy and Purple Posy. Um, it's also different than Highland Heather. So this is gonna give us a new light purple lavender color in our um, color combinations. And then this one is also very different and unique. This one is called Pale Papaya. So those are the five new in colors. They are also available in Stampin' Blends. So we've got the Polished Pink, the Soft Succulent, the Pale Papaya, the Evening Evergreen, and Fresh Freesia. And again, those come in two pin combos, a light and a dark of each color. You can also get the new in colors in the Stampin' Right markers in the set of five. That looks like that. And I will give you a peek at the designer paper in these new five in colors also. Here is the front, kind of a trendy new polka dot look, a plaid. All right, this is the front side of all five colors. And then the back side has different patterns. We've got a little flower and a this stripe with the dots that is probably going to be one of my favorites I can already tell so there's the flip side of those new designer papers in the brand new in colors now for my last moment or two here with you this morning I want to show you the ink pads and also remind you of an easy way to get these labeled so that you are ready to use them and they are easy to determine what color you're using. So this one I've already finished. I'm going to do one of the others start to finish so you can watch. Um, you might have seen me do this on a previous year when the in colors came out, but I do want to give you a quick little tutorial on this. So this one is done. This is the soft succulent. I've got a label on the front. That way when I put them away, that's the easiest place for me to see my label. Then I take one of the other language labels and I put it on the back so at a glance I can at least see the color. Then you can take one of your extra labels and perhaps put one or two of them on the bottom of the pad. So even if the pad is sitting on your work surface upside down, at a glance you can see what color it is. And then the last, label I like to tuck right inside here and I've even written on this one the name of the color so that if the ink pad is open you can tell what color it is because it's very hard to tell by the color of the pad itself. So let me go back take one that has not been done yet so this is Fresh Freesia. The first thing I'm going to do is flip it over and that's where you'll find your label when you get your um, brand new ink pad. So take a tool, perhaps your um, take your pick tool, it's got a good little spatula surface and you can get under there. What you wanna do is try not to pull off just the clear part of the label, but get underneath it and get the white part of the label. That way, I'm gonna pull them here, I'm gonna pull them up at the same time. That way you're actually removing the entire label. I'm just gonna pull slowly, it'll come up from the back of the ink pad. 
like so. So this is nice and clean. It's not sticky. There's no residue or anything. Now I've got all of my name labels right here. So the front of my pad is this size, this side right here. And that's where I'm going to put the English label. So fresh freesia as straight as I can. Just get that one on there, like so. Then I'm gonna flip the pad around to the other side, and use one of the other language labels. So now I've got the back side labeled, and at a glance, although I might not be able to pronounce the name of it in the other language, I can see the color. Then I'm going to take another language label and put it on the back. You can put one or two on the back. It just depends um, because you have five. So it just depends on where you want to use the last one. So you can put a fourth one here, which is what I did on this ink pad. Or if you wanted to, you could put a fourth one in here. I suppose that that would work. I haven't done that, but uh, I don't see any reason why that would hurt anything. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fourth one on the back. Again, if you don't use these, they're just trash, so you might as well use them and label your ink pads all around so it's quick to see what color that is. All right, and then the last one I am going to place right in here in this groove, and before I do that, I'm gonna take an extra fine tip Sharpie and just write on the label because that last one is blank. So I'm gonna write on here, fresh freesia, and then peel it out and lay it right in here. This proves to be about the most helpful label of all of them because when your ink pad is open like this, it's very difficult to tell what color it is. This one, you can pretty much make out that it's a pink or purple, but you would really have no idea if you're looking at a Highland Heather or a Gorgeous Grape, uh, really hard to tell. So this way you can see the color from the label itself, plus I have written Fresh Freesia on it. So when you get your five new In Color ink pads, just quickly go through that process, peeling off the labels, attaching them to the different sides so that your pads are nice, labeled, and easy to identify. I wanted to mention um, something that began at Stamp Club this month, and that is with a $50 order this month, so it has to be before the end of April, I am gifting everyone that does that with a sampler and you're going to get a sampler of the cardstock, all five colors. You're going to get some of each of the five ribbon colors. And you're also get, going to get some of the DSP. And that is actually going to be this um, brand new Pansy Petals designer paper. So this is the 12 by 12 paper. I'll be chopping this up into smaller pieces to create the share but you're going to get pieces of this paper, the cardstock, and the five ribbon colors for free um, with a $50 order this month. And so you can do that at my online store and you can use um, this host code here if you wanna take a quick screenshot or write that down, but you'll go to my store at juliebaum.stampinup.com insert that host code at checkout, and that is a way that you can get a free share of these new in-color products. Thanks for stopping by.